Right, this time we're going to learn the second way of how we can run Sparkle queries against our dataset. In the, in the last video we learned how we can use Apache's, uh, Gen Apache, Gen Ap Apache's uh, uh, Arc uh, Sparkle engine or Sparkle processor. This time we're going to use a graphical user interface uh, which is Apache's Jena for Seiki server. What you can do is you can go to uh, uh, this website if you can, if that, I hope that's legible. You can go to this website here. Yeah. And then you download the Jena for Seiki server. You can download it, unzip the file. All you need to do is just download it, unzip it, or if it's a jar file, you just, you, you just need to decompress it basically. Decompress the file you know place it somewhere on your in a hard drive and then you go to your command line you go to the path where 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 your jena for server is where you, you where you've downloaded it and then you just use this command i mean if you uh if you just have a look at what's there these are the files uh that are there when you don't when you uh, decompress it and you you need to run this this script here for sake server i'm using ubuntu linux by the way ubuntu linux run this script in this way yes uh, yes, so you say uh, for sake server minus minus update to allow updating the data uh, the data set or the triple store, and then minus minus mem to create a data set called ds in memory. What we do is we run that as you can see here our server is running and notice that uh, Apache's for sake uh, uh, Jenna for sake server runs on port 3030. So what you need to do is you go to your uh, web browser now, yes and you just say localhost and then web uh, with, with the port 3030 you know localhost colon 3030 you run that and there you go your uh, website oh, i'm sorry uh, uh, apache's jenna forsake server is running now just a second look at the data this is our data set and this is the query we want to run remember when we remember this when we ran it against when, when we used uh, uh, jenna's arc apache's arc Sparkle engine, we got two emails for Craig. Yeah, so we expect to have the same thing here. So, what we do is we go to control panel, we select the data set that we actually uh, told Jena for Sake server to use in memory. Yep, so we select that, and then now we upload the data file. So, we go to where we download, uh, where we actually placed the examples we downloaded from learningsparkle.com and the uh, the data set I'm using I believe is EX002 right let's have a second look and double check yes 002.turtle so that's that, that turtle file I'm sorry so we choose that open and what we do is we just upload it to our server it's telling me seven triples were uploaded successfully back to Fuseki again control panel use my data set and what we're going to do what we're going to do now is just copy and paste that query in there yes so with the prefix a b colon that you are right over there and then select Craig email remember we mentioned that uh, variables in sparkle uh, always start with a, a question mark and then where our where uh, close to narrow down the selections and then we want that for subject Craig which is you know can, which can be found here or about which more details can be found here it has a property called email which is again coming from this prefix here give me back Craig's email and then we mentioned that it usually is a good practice to end it with a period anyway enough talking let's run the, uh, the query and see what happens oh, notice that you can actually know, uh, choose the uh, you know the output format but we'll just stick to text file or text format so we can uh, view it on our web browser and you can see it's exactly the same result that we had here yep you can just compare those so two ways of running sparkle queries against our data sets the first one you, you is using the arc ARQ sparkle engine and the second one is using the uh, user interface the graphical interface which is using our uh, Forsake server Apache's Jena Forsake server Thanks for watching and next time we'll try to uh, dig deeper into uh, Sparkle queries and learn more about how we can actually structure them. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.